This study shows us that the benefits of mammography are less than we had hoped for and the potential harms are greater than we had anticipated. This study reported that a large population of women that are randomized to get screening mammography and a good breast exam versus those that don't get the screening mammography, that there's no difference whatsoever in subsequent mortality. Does this study give you pause about recommending mammography? This study adds to an accumulation of data. Over the last five years, we have been seeing more data from multiple large studies showing at a population level that we're not seeing the benefit from mammography that we had hoped. The more you look, the more you find with screening mammograms, and we are unfortunately potentially detecting a lot of tumors that the women would have lived with for their entire lives and it would have never harmed them. And this is called overdiagnosis. This is a screening test, and so they see abnormalities and they ask the women to come back. In other words, they'll send a letter or they'll call the woman to say, Dear Mrs. Smith, don't worry, but an abnormality was noted. It might be cancer. We need you to come back for additional testing. The great majority of those episodes don't end up diagnosing cancer, and so we call those false positives. Once a woman is diagnosed, we don't know if she's the one that is potentially benefiting from mammography or if she's the one that our treatment is so good it could cure her regardless of whether she was diagnosed early or if she's one of those women that was overdiagnosed and we're going to overtreat which can include mastectomies, radiation therapy, chemotherapy. I don't think women realize that in the United States we are the only country in the world that encourages women to start at age 40 and to go every year. There are some other countries such as the UK that start screening in the late 40s, early 50s and have women go every three years. I don't think we also realize that we're spending about eight billion dollars every year to pay for all of the breast cancer screening. And the fact that there's a major scientific paper that was published showing that we're not getting that benefit that we all had hoped for. That's concerning.